Welcome! This tutorial is going to be about a feature called span or split columns. Say for example you have a look like this where you want a headline to go across a three column layout. Of course I could set it up as separate boxes but again you're not going to have control and if things move around you get out of sync. So there's a better way to let InDesign do the work for you. So take your text tool, put it in your text box and first I'll just set up my three column layout. This is four. Okay, and now the headline is within that first column. If I put the cursor in that, and right up here, there's a little icon called Span Columns. If I turn that to Span All, now the headline goes across, I maintain my three column layout below, and it's all within one type box. And I could say split two columns, whatever the look you're going for. Say you're going for a look like this, you want a bulleted list to go to three columns but the rest of your paragraphs across. Again I could have separate elements, again very problematic for maintaining spacing or I've seen it like this where there's tabs to create the three columns and again if one item changes or you want to rearrange it, very difficult. Again InDesign can do the work for you. If I have this all within one text box you can see everything's together and if I select the paragraphs the bullets that I want to affect and I go up here to that same little icon and in this case I want to split. There we go. It splits it into three columns. Of course I could do uh, two columns, whatever the look you're going for. And the beauty of that, let's see, let's go back to splitting three. Again the beauty is that then it's all within one text box. You can totally, totally control your spacing, very clean as opposed to something like this. So that's it for a span and split columns.